Santiago, Chile, and at about 50 minutes from now, it will be over Spain. Well, it looks as though it'll be missing the United States on this trip. That's quite correct, it will. But it does come over here periodically, doesn't it? It comes over here at least twice a day, and maybe more. <laughs> getting back to this trip, is it possible that it is transmitted in cold? Although with a bit of luck, I think we're going to see rather more settled weather than we did in January. As far as today's picture is concerned, we have two things of interest to show you. First of all, this frontal system that's taking down very slowly from the north, bringing colder northerly. Darling, we're right here in 40098 for the last three quarters of an hour, and the line is always busy. But I don't see how it could be busy that long. Will you try it for me, please? Maria Hill, 40098. One moment, please. I do not see how it could be busy all the time. It's my husband's office. He's working late tonight. I'm all alone here in the house. My husband is very poor. I've been feeling so nervous all day. Ringing Maria Hill, 40098. <laughs> George. Yes, sir. Hello. Who's this? What, 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 what am I calling, please? We have heard from our client. He says the coast is clear for tonight. Yes, sir. Where are you right now? In a phone booth. Okay, you know the address. At 11 o'clock, the private patrolman goes around to the bar on the 2nd Avenue for a beer. Be sure that all the lights downstairs are out. There should be only one light visible from the street. At 11.15, a subway train crosses the bridge and makes a noise in case her window is open and she should scream. Oh! No! What number is this, please? Okay, I understand. And please, make it quick. As little blood as possible. Our client does not wish to make her suffer long. A knife, okay, sir? Yes, a knife will be okay. And remember, remove the rings and bracelets and the jewelry in the bureau drawer. Our client wishes it to look like simple robbery. Okay, I get... matter this was a wrong number and you doubted we've got to find out what it was immediately but madam oh why you're so stupid look it was obviously a case of some little slip of the finger i told you to try morahil 40098 for me you doubted but your fucking finger must have slipped and i was connected with some other number i could hear them but they could not hear me now i simply failed to see why you couldn't make that same mistake again on purpose why couldn't you try to dial morahil 4009 the same kind of sort of way morahil 4098 i will try to get it for you madam oh thank you <laughs> Sorry, Murray 
Hill 40098 is busy. Operator, operator. Yes, madam. You did not try to get the wrong number at all. I asked explicitly, and all you did was start correctly. I'm sorry. What number were you calling? Can't you for once forget number what I was calling and do something specific? Now, I want you to trace that call. It's my civic duty. It's your civic duty to trace that call to apprehend those dangerous kids. And if you want... I will connect you with the chief operator. Please! This is the chief operator. Chief operator, I want you to trace a call. Telephone call immediately. Listen, I don't know where it came from or who, who, who was making it, but it's absolutely necessary to be tracked down because it was about a murder, yes. Yes, I thought about the murder of a poor innocent woman to not live 15. Oh yes, madam, I see. Can you trace it for me? Can you track down those men? Well, it depends, madam. Depends on what? It depends on where the call is still going on. If it's a live call, we can trace it on our equipment. If it's been disconnected, then we can't Disconnected? Matter. If the party stopped talking to each oh, other. But, but of course they must have stopped talking to each other by now. That was at least five minutes ago and they did not sound like the type who would make a long call, ma'am. Well, I can try tracing it. Now, what is your name, madam? Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson, but listen. And your telephone number? <sighs> Plus a 42295, but if you go on wasting all this what time... What is your reason for wanting this call traced? My reason? Well, for heaven's sake, isn't it obvious? I overheard two men. They are killers. They are planning to murder this woman. It's a matter for the police. Have you told the police? Who? How could I? You're making this check in our private call purely as a private individual? Yes, but meanwhile... Well, Mrs. Stevenson, listen. I seriously doubt whether we could make this check for you at this time just on your say-so. As a private individual, we'd have to have something more official. Oh, oh no, for heaven's sake. You mean to tell me I can report the murder without getting tied up in all this red tape? Why, well, it's perfectly idiotic. All right, then I will call the police. <sighs> Ridiculous. <coughs> Department, please. Ringing the police department. Police department, prison 43, Duffy speaking. Police department. Oh, this is Miss Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Smith Stevenson of 53 North Southern Place. I'm calling to report a murder. Uh. I mean, the murder has not been committed yet. I just overheard plans for it over the telephone. Over the wrong number that the operator gave me. I've been trying to trace down the call myself, but everybody's so stupid. And I guess in the end, you're the only people who could do anything. Yes, ma'am. It was, um, a perfectly definite murder. I heard the plans distinctly. Two men were talking and they were going to murder some woman at 11.15 tonight. She lived in a house near a bridge. Yes, ma'am. And there was a private patrolman on the street. He was going to go around for a beer on 2nd Avenue. And there was some third man client who was paying to have this poor woman murdered. They were going to take her rings and braces and use a knife. Well, it's a term of judgment when I'm not well. I see. When was all this, ma'am? I think about eight minutes ago. Oh, then you can do something. You don't understand. And what is your name, ma'am? <sighs> Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. And your address? 53 North Southern Place. That's near a bridge, the Queensboro Bridge. You no, know, and we have a private patrol on our street in 2nd Avenue. And what was the number we're calling? Mariah Hill 40098. But that was not the number I overheard. I mean, Mariah Hill 40098 is my husband's office. He's working late tonight, and I was trying to reach him to ask him to come home. I'm an invalid, you know, and it's the maid's night off, and I hate to be alone. Even though he says I'm perfectly safe as long as I have the telephone right beside my bed. Well, we'll look into it, Mrs. Stevenson, and see if we can check it with the telephone company. But the telephone company said they could not check the call the parties and stop talking. I'm taking care of that. Oh, yes. Personally, I feel you oath to do something far more major than drastic than just check the call. What good does checking the call do if they have stopped talking? By the time you track it down, they will already have committed the murder. Well, we'll take care of it, lady, don't worry. I'd say the whole thing's called for a search. A completely thorough search of the whole city. I'm very near the bridge. 
And I'm not far from 2nd Avenue. And I know I'd fail a whole lot better if you send a rich car to this neighborhood at once. And what makes you think the murder is going to be committed in your neighborhood, ma'am? Oh, I don't know. This coincidence is so horrible. 2nd Avenue, the patrolman, the bridge. Oh, okay, mama. Okay, mom, just stop. Look. Second Avenue is a long street, ma'am, and do you happen to know how many bridges there in the city of New York alone? Not, not, not to mention Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, and the Bronx. And how do you know there isn't some little house out on Staten Island on some little Second Avenue you've never heard about? How do you know they were even talking about New York at all? <laughs> You moron, are you fooling around? I heard the call of the New York dialing system. Hey ma'am, hey ma'am, excuse me please. How do you know it wasn't a long distance call you overheard telephones, ma'am? Or funny things, look lady, why don't you look at it this way? Supposing you hadn't broken any of the telephone call. Supposing you'd got your husband the way you always do. Would this murder have made any difference to you at all, man? I suppose not, but it's so inhuman, so cold blood. <laughs> a lot of murders are committed in the city every day, ma'am. If we, if we could do something to stop and we would... But a clue of this kind that's so vague isn't much more used to us than a clue at all. But surely! Unless, of course, you have some reason for thinking this goes phony and that someone may be planning to murder you. Huh? Huh? Me? Oh no, I already think so. I, I mean, why should anybody? I'm alone all the night. I see nobody except my mate, Eloise. She's um a big 200 pounder. She's too lazy to bring up my breakfast tray. And the only person is my husband. Albert, he's crazy about me, adores me, which in me hand and foot. He's grossly left my side since I took sick 12 years ago. Well, then there's nothing for you to worry about, is there? And now if you just leave the rest to us and... But what will you do? It's so late, it's really 11 o'clock. We'll take care of it, lady. <sighs> for fucking Pete's sake, we'll broadcast it all over the city and send out so some squads and warn your radio cars to watch out special and suspicious neighborhoods like mine. Well, you don't talk to me like that, lady. I said we take care of it just now. I've got a couple of other matters here, my desk, that require my image. Oh! <laughs> Idiot! Now, why did they do that? Now I think I am a fool. Oh, why doesn't Albert come home? Why doesn't he? <laughs> Your call, please. Operator, for heaven's sake, will you ring that Mirahid 4009 it again? I can't think what's keeping him so long. Ringing Mirahid 4098. to tell me. I know it's busy. If I could only get out of this spread for a little while, if I could get a breath of fresh air or just lean out the window and see the street. Hello, Albert. Hello. 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 Oh, what's the matter with this telephone? Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello? For heaven's sake, who is this? Hello? 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 Your call, please. Hello, operator. I don't know what's the matter with this telephone tonight, but it's positively driving me crazy. I've never seen such an efficient, desirable service. Now, look. I'm an invalid, and I'm very nervous I'm not supposed to be another. What seems, seems to be the trouble, madam? Well, everything is wrong. The whole world could be murdered for all you people care. And now my phone keeps ringing. Yes, madam. Ringing and ringing and ringing for every five seconds and so on. When I pick it up, there's no one there. I'm sorry, madam. If you will hang up, I will test it for I you. I don't want you to test it for me. I want you to put through that call whatever it is at once. I'm afraid that it's not possible, madam. Not possible? And why may I ask? The system is automatic, madam. If someone is trying to dial your number, there is no way to check whether the call is coming through the system or not, unless the person who is trying to reach you complains to his particular operator. Well, of all the stupid, complicated, and meanwhile I've got to see in my bed, suffering like a fucking idiot every time the phone rings, imagining everything... I will try to check it for you, madam. Check it! Check it! 
That's all anybody can do. Of all the stupid idiotic... Oh, what's the use? Hello. Hello, stop ring, do you hear me? Answer me! What do you want? Do you realize you're driving me crazy? Start staring! Hello, is this Plaza 42295? <sighs> yes. Yes, this is Plaza 42295. This is Western Union. I have a telegram here for Mrs. Albert Stevenson. Is there anyone to receive their message? I am Mrs. Stevenson. The telegram is as follows. Mrs. Albert Stevenson, 50 North Student Place, New York, New York. Darling, terribly sorry. Tried to get you for last hour, but line busy. Leaving for Boston 11 p.m. tonight on urgent business. Back tomorrow afternoon. Keep happy. Love, signed Albert. Oh, no. That is no. all, madam. Do you wish us to deliver a copy of the message? No, no, thank you. Thank you, madam. Good night. Good night. No, it isn't true. We couldn't do it. Not when he knows I'll be all alone. Some tricks finish. Your call, please. Operator, try that Murray Hill 40098 number for me just once more, please. Ringing Murray Hill 40098. <laughs> I can't if I'm all, all alone one more second. I don't care what he is or what the expense is a sick woman. I'm entitled. <laughs> this is information. I want the telephone number of Henchley Hospital. Henchley Hospital? Do you have the address, madam? No. It's somewhere in the 70s, though. It's um, a very small, private, and exclusive hospital where I had my appendix out two years ago. Henchley, H-E-N-C. One moment, please. Please, hurry. Please, what is the time? Ah, I don't know, madam. You may find out the time by dialing region 71212. Oh, for heaven's sake. Couldn't you... The number of Henshi Hospital is Butterfield 70105, madam. Butterfield 70105. Henshi Hospital, good evening. Nurses Registry. Who has said you wish to speak to, please? I want the nurses registry at once. I want to train nerves. I want to hurry immediately for the night. Oh, I see. And what is the nature of the case, madam? Nerves. I'm very nervous. I need soothing and companionship. My husband is away and I'm... Have you been recommended to us by any doctor in particular, madam? No. But you don't see why all this catechizing is necessary. I want to train the nurse. I was a patient in the hospital two years ago, and after all, I do expect to pay this we person. We quite understand that, madam. But registered nurses are very scarce just now, and our superintendent has asked us to send people out. Only in cases where the physician in charge feel it is absolutely necessary. Well, it is absolutely necessary. I'm a sick woman, and uh, I'm very upset, very um, alone in this house, and I'm been invited, and tonight I overheard a telephone conversation that upset me dreadfully about a murder, a poor woman who is going to be murdered at 11.15 tonight. In fact, if someone doesn't come at once, I'm afraid I'll go out of my mind. Yes, yes, I see. Well, I'll speak to Miss Phillips as soon as she comes in. And what is your name, madam? Miss Phillips? And when, when do you expect her in? I, I really don't know, madam. She went out to supper at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? But it's not 11 yet. Oh, oh my god, my clock has stopped. I thought it was running down. What time is it? Just 14 minutes past 11. 
Oh my god! Oh my god, what's that? Huh? What was what, madam? That! That leaked just now in my own telephone as though someone left the receiver off the hook of the extension phone downstairs. I didn't hear it, madam. Now, about this. But I did. There's someone in this house. Someone downstairs in the kitchen. They're listening to me now. They're. Oh my god. I won't pick it up. I won't let them hear me. I'll be quiet. And they will think. But, but if we don't call someone now, while they're still down, there, there'll be no time. Oh my god. What's, what's happening? What's happening? We don't know what's happening. Your call, please. Operator, uh, uh, I'm in desperate trouble. I, I cannot hear you, madam. Please speak louder. Your call, please. What number are you calling, madam? You've got to hear me. Oh, please. You've got to help me. There's someone in this house. Someone is going to murder me. And you've got to get in touch with the... There it is. Oh, there it is. He's put it down. He's put down the extension. He's coming. Ah, he's coming up the stairs. Give me the police number. Department, prison 43, Duffy speaking. Uh, police department, Pr Duffy speaking. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, wrong number.